Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning about solid principles. So these are a set of principles that we follow when writing code to make your code extendable, maintainable and easily testable. So let's just dive right in. So solid principles. Solid is first of all an acronym for S-O-L-I-D standing for each of these principles that you see here. So it's a set of five design principles that help you write cleaner, more easily extendable and testable code. So five design principles are the first one is single responsibility principle. The second one open and closed principle. The third one Liskov substitution, fourth one interface segregation and fifth one dependency inversion. I know I'm throwing a lot of words here. Even when I was a junior developer, I was so afraid of these names, believe me. Like especially this list of substitution and interface segregation. So let me break all of this down to you so that it's easy to understand for you. Now a common question arises. Can I write code without following these solid principles? Uh, my answer would be yes, you can. But without solid, your code becomes rigid, difficult to extend prone to bugs, harder to manage as it grows. So following solid helps avoid these issues, making your code base cleaner and more adaptable for future changes. Now enough chit chat, let's now move on to our first principle which is single responsibility principle. Now this principle states that a class should have only one reason to change. It should be responsible for only one part of software's functionality and it should have a single well-defined responsibility. Now honestly, if you ask me, that definition can get confusing. And if you talk about this word responsibility, it can become a vague term. So let's try to understand this using an example now. So here we have created a class called as vehicle inside this vehicle.py file. Here we have three methods, the initialization, calculate insurance cost and 2JSON. The initialization looks pretty simple. It takes in make, model and year as its parameters and sets it. The second one is the calculate insurance cost. Here it calculates the age and if the age is greater than 5, it returns 1000, otherwise 500. Pretty simple, right? Now moving on to the third one which is 2JSON. This method basically returns a JSON object in this particular format. We have also created this main method here, which basically initializes a vehicle with Toyota Camry 2018 and then simply prints the insurance cost and to JSON. So let's just run this and then see the output. So as you can see, let me clear this out. Let me run this again. So as you can see, uh, the insurance cost is $1000. And the vehicle de details in JSON look something like this. Looks perfect. Now if you see, we have violated single responsibility principle here. This class vehicle should have only one reason to change. And obviously we are not following that. We see that we are initializing and then we have insurance details here and then printing here. So we are obviously violating single responsibility principle. If you think this model is very unintuitive, so if we want to make changes regarding insurance or even formatting or printing here, we have to think about this class as vehicle, which feels unintuitive to me. So here we are violating single responsibility principle or SRP. Vehicle has more than one responsibility. Now even if you look at this calculate insurance cost method, we see that this method might depend on some other factors unrelated to vehicle. Let's say it depends on the address. In that case, all of this would have to be moved out or we would have to add another parameter here called as address, which doesn't make sense to me. Here, as you see, we have added all of these methods inside this one single class called as vehicle. Now, this is very incorrect because if you see in the main method, when we write main method, we don't write all of the stuff inside this main method, right? 
we have different methods which we call inside this main method and similarly we are what we have to do here is that we'll create different classes for different purposes different responsibilities so what to do now so let's try to use single responsibility principle and then break this down into multiple classes now here i have separated all of those responsibilities into different classes the first one being vehicle where i have simply initialized it with make model and year there is another file or class called as object formatter this method this has a method called as vehicle to json it takes in as input vehicle and then returns the json output very similar to the previous one but separated into a different class now we move on to the insurance calculator this one also has a method called as calculate car insurance it takes an input as vehicle and basically the same logic here now after separating all of those i am testing it out in the main method i am importing all of those classes in here as you can see now in the main class i am initializing all those three vehicle insurance calculator and the formatter and simply printing it out so let's just run this main method and see so as you can see it gave us the right output car insurance as 1000 and vehicle details looks correct to me now we have understood the single responsibility principle until now we have changed our code and we have created multiple classes like these and we have separated different classes now it's time to understand why are we even thinking about single responsibility principle what would be the consequences if we don't follow this now what happens if we don't follow single responsibility principle so the first thing is that finding where to make the changes becomes very difficult how so so let's take an example of a really big repository or code base where there are hundreds of these files here we have vehicle.py object formatter.python file insurance calculator but there could be hundreds of them so if we do not have the single responsibility principle we could have different methods in different places so let's say in our earlier code we had the printing code inside the vehicle.py that didn't make sense so if i think about making changes to the printing i would have to find the vehicle file and then make changes do you feel how unintuitive that is it's like take an analogy where you have to find a comic book placed in library's physics section you go to the library and go to the physics section to find the comic book right you have to go to the comic book section to find the comic book that is what single responsibility principle is so that gives us the first point that is finding where to find changes becomes difficult if we do not follow it that is maintainability is lost now the second point is we have to write repeated code if we don't follow single responsibility principle so as you could see in the previous code we had the printing logic inside the vehicle class this whole printing or like the formatting as you can say was inside this vehicle class so we can have different classes who want their json representation so it's like a repeated code you have to write again and again for let's say vehicle.py person.py car.py you will have to go on for each and every class and then write those repeated code again and again for the formatting this part so if we follow our solid principles we do not have to write that repeated code again and again now before moving on to the third part let's try to imagine a scenario let's say look at let's look at this vehicle.py now we have the formatting to json code here as well we could have another file called as person.py we could ha have another class called as car.py all of those would have this formatting code there and let's say somebody comes up and say make changes to the printing or the formatting for all of those files you will have to individually go into those files and make changes that's not the case here 
In this case, we just have to make changes to this file. That's it. So solid, if we follow so if we do not follow solid, we need to do modification at different places when there are new changes. And don't even get me started on the unit test part. So if you look at all of those files, we make changes to vehicle.py, car.py, person.py. We'll have to make changes to the unit tests as well. And that's a big hassle. So if you don't follow SRP, these are the three consequences that could happen. Now, after all of this discussion, I want you to remember these two thumb rules. The first one being, whenever you have a class, you need to add a method there. So you should add a method according to the class name. Now, what does that mean? Let's say I'm writing a class for vehicle. So I should think about whenever I'm writing a method here, I will think directly about if it's related to vehicle or not. In our previous code, we were writing formatting to JSON method here as well, which was unrelated. So that's what we get from the first one. But there could be cases where we are writing a method which might seem related. So we were adding, let's say, the insurance part there in vehicle, which seemed to be closely related or somewhat related. I'm not talking about those cases. But if you obviously see that it's obviously incorrect to place the printing to JSON or formatting to JSON in vehicle.py, do not add that. So that's the first rule. But for those cases where you are confused, you should think about following the second rule. The second rule says, ask yourself this question. Will this method be used by other classes too? If so, yes, the answer is yes, then you should think about moving it to a separate class. So in our case, we moved the object formatter, we moved the JSON part to a different class called as object formatter because it could be used by other classes. And similarly for insurance, there could be a home insurance as well or some other kind of insurance. That is why we moved it to a separate class. Before moving forward, I would like to add one small detail here. There's a disclaimer on these rules that these rules are not 100% accurate, but it will give you a good idea, a fair bit of idea on how to write code according to single responsibility principle.